All right, 4519 Amanda. Here's the front. Got a nice gravel driveway here. It is part of a fourplex, detached fourplex, but it's the main house. Kind of got a dead end here. Give you kind of a walk around here. It's nice and sunny out here. You've got a little fenced area over here. Nice and private back here. Fully fenced little area might keep in a, a pet. I would have to double check and see if pets are even allowed on this one. entry here and take my shoes off but you walk into the great room then you have the garage and the room above the garage there and you have the master here nice and big you could definitely fit all of your furniture, king bed, dresser, multiple dressers. This is huge. Nice big closet. There is plenty of room in here. This discoloration kind of comes from the water. We have some higher iron content in some areas out here, so a little CLR and that would definitely come off. So that doesn't concern me or anything. Double shower head. Nice big dual vanity. I really love this flooring. It looks like tile, but it's not, which is nice because it's easier to care for. And then you have the great room again. Fan up there. We'll go this way first. Kitchen. Huge kitchen. Nice eat in bar. Stainless steel appliances. Nice big attached pantry. Pull out drawers. And then here's that little fenced area that we looked at. There's nothing behind you. Nice and quiet. That's so pretty. More storage. And then you have the other bedrooms over here have that awesome flooring again throughout, guest bath, one bedroom here, I like that the fans are in here because when it gets hot in the summertime, looks like this is a little damaged, so definitely note that on your Move in inspection. Huge closet, actually. This is goes all the way back there and all the way back there. That is that is very large. You could definitely fit. You could probably fit another king in here, but definitely a queen and some dressers.
for sure. Looks like there's a little more damage right along here. That happens a lot when you have these high efficiency homes and uh, these cellular blinds. So those are blackout. That's super nice. So whenever you leave these blinds down, when it's really, really cold, you'll get condensation that builds up. Um, and so then that kind of runs off and ruins the paint a little bit. The way to get around that is actually to leave your blinds open when it's really cold. And uh, then the ice won't build up as much and then just try to keep it wiped up. I always think that it's an issue with the house, but honestly, it's just because of how tight they seal the homes for energy efficiency. Looks like there's a little damage here too. I would note that on a, it's probably, looks like maybe the door was catching it. Looks like the about the same footprint as the other one, size-wise. Nice fan again. And closet is not as big on this one. Kind of goes to about here. It's still, still nice and big. some linen storage apparently somebody didn't want a child getting into laundry light on in here nice storage you could almost use this as an extra pantry even though you have all of that space in the kitchen awesome and let's check Oh, I love that they left these behind. Those are cute. Your to-do list and your calendar. Let's check out that room upstairs. Oh, uh, garage first. I lied. Nice. Got a little fridge freezer out here. It's pretty sweet. I, I have no idea if it works. We can ask the property manager for sure. Nice, good sized two car garage though. Wow. So nice and sloped, so all of your water should definitely go that way in the, in the winter. And then extra wide on the sides of the door, which means you can definitely fit two cars in and still have room to open up your doors. Wow. Awesome. Somebody definitely had a dog. But make sure you note that as well on your move in. Okay, room above the garage. Oh, this would be such a cute bedroom too. Nice, extra little reading nook back there with its own light. How cute is that? And this is still probably a good six feet or so. So definitely plenty of room. It's always hard to tell sometimes, but I am almost to the wall and I'm 5'7", so definitely good height in here still. Lots of usable space and a closet. Oh, wrong way. That was the stair light and an actual closet. Alrighty, I'll get this uploaded and sent over to you.